Welcome to this Photoshop CC crunch. Okay, in this lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to create a kind of caricature look to this image. Now, I'm going to use a, a couple of techniques to do this. And um, yeah, let's get stuck in. So I've got this weird face corrected. I did this correction in a last video I did. So I'm just going to open this corrected version up inside of Photoshop here. And we're just going to work with this one. So, okay, what I want to do as normal is click this, double click this background layer and call it original. Okay, and click OK. And I want to make a duplicate copy of that. So I'm going to make a duplicate. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this eye bigger. And we're going to just make quite a few changes to the face. So to do that, we're going to use Liquify. It's really fun to use. You're going to love it. And we're going to go in and we're going to go to the Liquify. We're going to go filters and we're going to go to Liquify. So this will open up a panel now where we've got lots of tools that we can use to manipulate this image. Now the first tool I'm going to use is a bloat tool. Just click on that. With the brackets on your keyboard next to P, you can make the brush size bigger or smaller. And what we want to do is we want to make sure it's even. So I'm going to put it over the whole eye here and I'm just going to click once. You notice it makes it bigger. So I'm going to do it a few more times. Now I found a good technique with this is once you do it in the middle to also go around the outside a little bit as well. It just makes it look a bit more natural. Then I come out again and you make it as big or small as you want. Now pressing the Alt key will reverse that action. So I'm going to bring this brush down and on this eye here I'm going to press the Alt key and I'm just going to click it and make it a bit smaller. So we've got that kind of funny look going on. Okay, now for the ear, I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to make the brush really big. I'm going to press the Alt key and I'm just going to bring it in a little bit. And you'll see it kind of brings it in from the outside. So I might need to make my brush size a bit smaller here and just start to kind of work with this around here. Trying to bring it in on itself. Now once we've got the ear quite small, I'm going to go across to the forward walk tool, which will allow us to actually take this ear and actually move elements around like that. So I'm going to move that. I'm also going to take the hair and I'm going to make the hair a bit more kind of spiky on the top. Almost creating almost like a Mohican type look. So I'm going to go around there like that and just give it a bit more of a kind of funny look. I'm now going to make it quite big. I'm going to bring my forehead out here. So I've got, I'm turning into like a mega brain. So we're going to bring that up there. And there and the chin I'm gonna now just go down a little bit here with the brush and I'm gonna press the alt key oh sorry I'm gonna go back to the bloat tool I'm gonna press the alt key make the brush a bit bigger press the alt key I'm just gonna bring this in so I'm kind of bringing the chin in a bit give me a really small mouth yeah then I'm gonna use the move tool and I'm just going to kind of correct it a bit more. That, I'm going to move this in and I want to just give my eyebrow a bit more of an uplift here. Bring these up a little bit as well across here. And we can also push left as well if we want to. I want to give this, it's a bit kind of uncontrollable this. You can kind of pull it out, so you can pull these kind of hairs out. This gives it a kind of funny, wild look. I've got the pucker tool, pucker tool is really good. Let me go extreme, Let's bring the brush size up by using the bracket keys. And you can see it kind of really affects it. Um, you've also got options at the top but um, for the size of the brush and stuff and the density that you want to move stuff and the pressure if you're using a graphics tablet but with that pucker brush I'm just bringing that all in come up to here now bring my chin out a bit okay let's just bring that ear up round that ear out by bringing the brush size a bit smaller I'll bring that brush size smaller now just nod, nudge that out and change that a bit 
So now if you press P on the keyboard you can see before and after. Pretty cool. And of course you, then you can go in and clean up a bit as well. So once you're happy with that kind of uh, stylized look you can go as far as you want with this but sometimes if you go too far it looks a bit odd. So let me just go a little bit extreme here. Yeah it's pretty pretty damn extreme that give myself a bit of a bigger cheekbone there maybe bring the cheekbone over here a bit more as well all right that's good like that okay and click OK that will now apply that to the to the image obviously it's looking quite funny then you can just go in and sort of tidy it up so I could go in and use the brush tool here and I can just start to paint a little bit in um, I've got my opacity on 20, 29% so it's not too much I'm just going to sort of brush over that a little bit there okay good and then I'm going to press the alt key to sample a little bit here I might put a few extra lines in so I'm going to use the clone brush down here I can press the alt key to sample this this will sample this same crease that I've got here and I'm just going to put that in so I'm creating a few extra kind of creases going on uh, just take this here just put another kind of crease in around my eye there looks a bit unnatural now so I'd probably break it up a little bit with maybe a little bit of this crease or something yeah or just use a little bit just break that away so you can come in and just sort of make that work around there and if I want to get rid of this area I'd probably you don't want to get rid of it completely but I'd use the paintbrush I just come down I just take a little bit away just to take that, that crease out there a little bit I'm gonna bring the opacity of this down a little bit and just pump a little bit of color in under the eye there okay that's good okay and probably clean this up as well the whites of the eyes there good okay so there we go we've created something quite weird there so to turn that even more stylized what we can do now is we can jump into our our image go to adjustments and HDR toning it says flatten the image just click no actually it's got to flatten the image so we're gonna to have to get rid of the original apologies for that adjustment so actually what I tend to do is I'll take this image and I'll save it out so let me just turn this one off so what I can do is I can do a duplicate of this image if you come across to image and just go duplicate click OK and it will create this duplicate image the same one of this so now I can come into the image adjustments go down to the HDR toning click yes because I've already got the original image there this will open up this tab here so what we can do in this tab is we can take some of the um, settings that are already in here go to local adaption and we can just change these round a bit so I can give it quite a bit of shadow take the vibrancy and this down a bit I'm going to take the exposure down and I'm going to take the gamma down I'm going to introduce a bit more radius and a bit more strength into this do you notice it's going a bit more you can turn smooth edges on sometimes works better it's got this more of a stylized look now I'm going to bring the gamma down a bit more actually bring it up and what we're looking for is this kind of 
styled look like that. That looks good. You can come into the toning curves down here and you can just adjust them a little bit. Looks good. Click OK. Now what we're going to do, you've got this halo, which is HDR halo, but what we're going to do is we're going to put it on top of the other image. So we're going to go to select, select all. I'm going to press Control and C, or you can come up here to copy. I'm going to go back into this image and we're going to press Control V to paste this image on top. Right, now with that image on top, what you can do is we can just adjust the fill down a bit. But the thing is, we've got this halo around the hair. So this is where the original is going to be really useful. I'm going to come back to the original. I'm going to select the magic wand. Just click in there. If it doesn't select it all, you might want to turn the tolerance up to about 64. This is, and then re-click. And it should go around it. Now that's a bit too much, so I need to turn this back to 32. Click again. Um, still maybe a bit too much, but I'm going to press the shift key and just add to this selection. So I'm going around. So now I've created a mask. Now I'm going to zoom into the eye area around here. I'm just going to go to the polygons tool and I'm just going to press the alt key. And what will happen is it will take away from the selection. So as I I'm holding the alt key as I'm doing this, I'm just tracing my way around by clicking. And uh, we go across there, down there. That should be good enough for what we need it to do. I'm going to meet it back up, just double click, and that will have done that selection. Now, by selecting this, this is all selected outside. It basically means that if you paint inside here, everywhere inside the mask will be affected, but not the image. Press Control Z to go back. So we want that mask to be applied to this. Okay. Now, the problem is the hair's a little bit all over the place, so I was wrong in my selection there. I should probably have selected from this one, so I need to redo it. So I'm going to go to Original 2, and I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm just going to put this in here, and I'm going to use the Shift to select there. Um, I'm not going to worry about the eye, because we'll manually mask that in a second. So with this selected now, to get rid of this halo, with this mask selected, I'm going to turn on Mask by clicking down here. It will create a mask for it and it will get rid of the halo. Well, it won't at the moment, but it will in a second because we need to invert the mask. So I'm going to press the Alt key and go into the mask. And I'm going to press Control and I to invert this mask. Or you can go up to Image Adjustments and Invert. Now, if I go back, the halo has gone, but we've still got that effect. Now, to add to the mask, because we've got this little area here that's wrong, I'm going to add a bit of white in there. So I'm just going to use the brush and we can paint white. I'm going to turn the opacity up to 100% and just paint the white in there. Okay, now you can do that while viewing it, so I can actually have it on here, but as long as I click this, it will only apply that white to that layer. So as you can see, I'm starting to add that white in there and it's taking away a little bit. Okay, so you can see if I go press the Alt key to get in the mask, you can see I've added that white. Yeah, so let's go back into that by clicking that layer. Now what I can do is I can just turn this opacity down very slightly, but you've got this really cool kind of look going on over the top. It's quite stylized. Yeah? Now if you don't want the stylized look over the whole thing, remember we've got a mask. So if I now paint black into this area, I will get rid of it on this area. So with that mask selected there, I'm going to blow up my paintbrush to its size, and I've got white on there. And you can see I can get rid of that stylized effect on the t-shirt by just going over it there and you can see what's happened in the mask I've just painted over that t-shirt there so that's the only bit that's so the white area is the only bit that's showing through from this image okay so when you've done all that you can click the save as and then you can save this your cartoon version out as a JPEG and let's call this liquid and save it. You go OK, come back, and now we've got our new version created using a stylized effect. So I hope you've enjoyed this lunch crunch. Uh, I again under 15 minutes long this video and shown you quite a few techniques there, liquify and the HDR toning. Have a play around with those, great fun, and I'll see you in the next lunch crunch. Welcome to UKOnlineTrainingCenter.com. Now, I just wanted to tell you about my website. If you visit my website, you can get a lot of good deals direct from me. 
So get in the loop and visit UKOnlineTrainingCentre.com where I'm going to be offering discounts and coupons, latest news and previews, live webinars and pod podcasts for 2017. So it's a really good way to directly get in touch with me and see the latest goings on on all of the courses that I create. Now remember, I also create the monster training courses as well. So UK Online Training Center is a combination of all of my courses all in one place. And I'm gonna be offering loads of new features for 2017. So hopefully you check me out and uh, see what's all going on in the world of UK Online Training.